Clearing sea mines is believed to be one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. Swimming above an active mine is quite scary, but not as frightening as actually going near it, detonating it, and retrieving it from the seabed. This is the job of the clearance divers and the explosives ordnance disposal who are in charge of clearing the sea mines left underwater. The purpose of sea mines is to prevent the use or passage through an area. Considering that maritime areas are a vital part of the world's economy, sea mines are a complex hazard of international concern. Like land mines, sea mines can remain active for many years after being deployed. During World War II, there were around 550,000 sea mines laid. Some of them were removed after the conflict, but many sea mines are still on the seabeds. These types of mines are filled with sensors that can detect a ship sailing above them. When a ship is detected, the mine is detonated. The sensors work with the help of magnets that can detect steel and other metals that the ships are made of. Today, this is a huge threat to any vessel in the sea. Throughout the years, the threat that sea mines have presented has been recognized, and there are a few tactics being used to avoid them and clear them. For over a century, clearing sea mines was a brutal, crude, and close-up business. Specialized ships, divers, and even trained dolphins had to go right into the minefield. Ships were being sent to the location of the mine in order to deactivate it and destroy it. While that's been an effective way to clear sea mines, another technique has been developed to clear the remaining sea mines. This technique involves divers who dive to the mine, detonate it, and remove it from the sea before it causes damage. This job is risky for the divers, but necessary for the safety of vessels on the sea. Removing sea mines is also called explosive ordnance disposal. This term is also used for clearing up land mines as well. These teams were created by the U.S. Navy and consist of technicians that retrieve all types of ordnance, including improvised, chemical, biological, and nuclear. They perform land and underwater location, identification, render safe, and recovery or disposal of foreign and domestic ordnance. Today, the U.S. Navy EOD is staffed with nearly 3,000 officers and enlisted personnel who are the world's premier force for maritime mine countermeasures, counter-improvised explosive devices, weapons of mass destruction, and all other types of weaponry. Their main purpose is to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, their main purpose is to dispose of all the remaining land and sea mines and allow safe passage for any vehicle or vessel. While land mines present a huge threat, detecting sea mines is a bigger threat. You never know what lies underneath the water. The EOD employs various tools, techniques, and procedures to accomplish the mission. The EOD specialists are known as the world's ultimate bomb squad. Their job is to go to the places no one wants to go and risk their lives sweeping areas with active mines in order to remove them. This is just a small part of everything this team has to do in their day-to-day -day job. This is a very challenging job and it becomes even more challenging when the entire sweeping area is underwater. To clear the seabeds from sea mines, special teams are sent down into the sea to sweep the area. The people that do this task are Navy divers that perform a wide range of tasks in support of Defense Force missions. They're full-time specialist divers who undertake diving, demolitions, explosive ordnance disposal, and improvised explosive device disposal. The primary focus of the mine clearance divers is to perform explosive ordnance disposal. They're capable of locating and recovering underwater ordnance. As unexploded naval mines are still living deep on the seabeds, the clearance divers have a challenging job to get rid of them all. It's estimated that as many as 5,000 of these deadly devices remain from past wars. They present a threat to every vessel in the sea. Clearance divers risk their lives every day to make the world seas safer. This is a dangerous job. Well, any job that includes mines shouldn't be considered safe, but when you have a mine that's underwater and hard to reach, the task becomes harder than it is on land. These divers have to locate the mine without activating it and then take a dive. As they reach the mine, they have to detonate it. 
The mines that lay on the seabed have multiple sensors that can detect ships and boats. When a vessel passes over the mine, the mine registers them and detonates. The divers have to smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. But no, in all seriousness, they have to use everything in their power to prevent the mine sensors from detecting them. The mines react to magnetism, sound, and pressure, which is why all the equipment the divers carry is anti-magnetic. In order to minimize noise, they dive with closed-circuit breathing operators that don't produce any air bubbles. The clearance divers are specially trained for the job and know what they're in for. They use special techniques to locate the mine, go near it without detonating it, and then dispose of it. All of this is well planned, and the mission has no place for mistakes. The tiniest mistake on such a mission can cause a disaster in the surrounding area, including the divers and the vessel they came from. Each of the movements is carefully calculated. The first thing the divers have to do is separate the detonators from the explosive materials, which is the most dangerous part of the job. Imagine swimming above an active mine that can easily be triggered. This is what the clearance divers deal with each day. They carefully go around the mine, try not to trigger it, and make sure that the detonator is removed from the explosive material. This type of work requires a great amount of dedication and precision, especially when it's done underwater. After the detonators are destroyed, the diver takes a second dive to attach the charge that'll ultimately destroy the sea mine. Divers have 15 minutes to execute this task. Once the mine is destroyed, then the divers can collect it from the seabed and remove it from the sea. Clearance divers have one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. They operate in pitch black conditions and rely on their expert skills to get the job done. They operate in low visibility due to murky water or debris. They're trained to be effective without being able to see their own hands in front of them. In some navies, including Britain's Royal Navy, the divers must have a lifeline and a line tender when reasonably practicable. The training for becoming a clearance diver often involves the chosen personnel jumping into freezing cold water and hugging huge bombs, missiles, and mines. This is because they need to be trained to determine what a device is without being able to see it. If a mine or explosive device is located underwater, the clearance divers will be sent to ascertain type of device then the appropriate action will be taken by the rest of the team. The most vital part of clearing sea mines is getting the information right. While they know there's an explosive device located below the water, they have to determine what type of explosive device it is, and only then can they get to the clearing. If one little mistake is made in this process, it can turn into a hectic outcome that may cost the lives of the divers and those on the ship. Bye for now.